Guys, welcome back to the channel. This week is an outstanding trick. It is a self-working card trick. It doesn't have any setup. You can do it anytime, anywhere, with any deck of cards. And I guarantee it's gonna become one of your go-to tricks. It's self-working, it's awesome. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so for this trick, we need an assistant. We need the Queen of Spades. You can use any queen. Now, you're gonna cut two piles of cards from the deck. You're actually gonna put 15 cards in each pile. You don't need to tell a spectator that. And the easiest way to do this is to just push off two cards and then three cards, two cards, then three cards, two cards, then three cards, and you'll end up with 15. And this is an easy way to count 15 cards without losing concentration of speaking to the spectator and presenting the trick. So when you get to this point, you can ask the spectator to cut these two piles in half. So they can cut this pile wherever they want, this pile wherever they want, like so. You're gonna end up with four piles. You then ask the spectator to take any card. They can have a free choice of any of the other cards. We won't use a queen because it'll be confusing. So let's go with this, right? Five of spades, right? They can pick any card and they can put it on any of the piles on the table. So let's say they go here, right? Now, watch where they put the card. Think of these as rows. If they put the card in this row, as in like on that pile, you give them the choice of either of these two packets to put on top of their card, right? If it was the opposite, if they chose to put their card on one of the cards in this row, you give them the option of one of these two packets to shuffle and put on top. So for now, let's leave their card here and give them the choice of one of these two. So let's say they go this one, they shuffle these as much as they want, and then they can lose their card into the pack like so. So the pile that's on its own now, you put the queen on, and then the pile that they didn't put the card in, you're gonna put on top of the queen like so. And then you're gonna end up with two piles of cards, and you can ask them which one they want to put on top of the other one. This on top of that, or this on top of that, doesn't matter, so we're gonna go there like so. Now, all you're gonna do is you're gonna deal out the cards into two piles, right, back and forth between the two piles. And all you need to do is to watch where the queen goes, and you explain that whichever pile the queen lands in, you're gonna keep. And whichever pile the queen isn't in, like this pile, we're gonna eliminate. So we eliminate these, and we're gonna keep doing this, right? So we go back and forth just like this. And you can actually get the spectator to do this if you'd like, but the pile the queen lands in we keep, and the other pile we eliminate, like so. And you're gonna keep doing this and you explain that this is the queen hunting for the selected card. You'll do this four times, but eventually the queen will land on one card and only one card. And that card will always be the selected card. It seems so random, they've got so many choices and I have no idea why this works, but it's such an amazing trick. Give it a go, you're gonna fool yourself. So there it is guys, did you fool yourself? Let me know in the comments below. I did this for the first time and I freaked out. I thought there's no way this is gonna work. Such a cool trick. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We do this every single weekend. We hang out, I teach you some awesome tricks and you can go away and blow people's minds. It's all about having fun. Guys, practice, take care and I'll see you soon.